Hello fifth grade. Today we're going to work on multiplying mixed numbers, lesson 8-9. I'm on page 141 in your workbook. You're going to do the even problems, so I'm going to do a few of the odd problems with you. I'm going to start with number one. Six times three and one-sixth. Number one. Six times three and one-sixth. So first I have to change six to a fraction. 6 over 1, and then I need to change 3 and 1 sixth to an improper fraction. So 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 19 sixths. And I'm going to simplify. 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So I multiply. 1 times 19 is 19, and 1 times 1 is 1. I do not want to leave an improper fraction. So 19 over 1 equals 19. Now let's look at number 5. Number five is six and one-fourth times one and one-fifth. I have two mixed numbers, so I have to change both of those to improper fractions. Six times four is 24, plus one is 25. So 25 fourths, one times five is five, plus one is six, six fifths. So I can divide 25 and five both by five. Five divided by five is one. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 4 and 6, I can divide both of those by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now I can multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 1 is 2. 15 halves equals 7 and 1 half. Now I'm going to go to number 11. Number 11 is 7 and 1 half times two and three-fifths. Two mixed numbers again, so I have to change both of them to improper fractions. Seven times two is 14, plus one is 15, and two times five is 10, plus three is 13, so 13 fifths. And I'm going to simplify. Five goes into five once, and it goes into 15 three times. There's nothing else I can simplify. So three times 13 is 39, 2 times 1 is 2, so I have 39 halves, which equals 19 and 1 half. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom, number 13. Number 13, you have to solve both sides and then compare. So I have 1 and 6 sevenths times 1 and 2 sevenths, and I'm going to compare that to 2 times 1 and 5 sixths. The first thing I need to do is make both of these into improper fractions. So 1 times 7 is 7 plus 6 is 13. So 13 sevenths times 1 times 7 is 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 sevenths. And I'll put my circle for my greater than less than sign. Now I need to change both of these to fractions. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 sixths. So now I have to multiply both sides. Okay. 13 times 9 equals 117. 7 times 7 is 49. Because unfortunately, I could not simplify anywhere on 13 sevenths or 9 sevenths. Both of my sevens are in the denominator. I have to have one number in the numerator, one in the denominator. So 117 49ths equals 2 and 19 49ths. Now I'll come over here, and I can simplify a little bit here. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 6 three times. So then I multiply, I get 11 thirds, which equals 3 and 2 thirds. So I just have to look at my whole numbers. I have a 2 and I have a 3. 3 is bigger than 2, so my sign is going to be greater than. 